at the Breda River at the moment. We're just trying to pump some mud corn, try and catch a, a grunter. We've got quite a few tailing around us at the moment. Let's see if we can get one here. There we go. It's not the uh, biggest prawns, but they're definitely big enough to, to get a good sized grunter. Check in the bucket, just got us at the end of our session. We got our 100 prawns in the bucket there. You'll add 50, 50 prawns per person per day. So yeah, let's go put this on in. As you can see, the way we like to fish for the grunters, very simple, just a running sinker trace. Got your swivel and a nice, what's that, about a meter or so. Four kg trace line, a little one eye circle hook. And the way we like to rig up the mud prawn is you fold him in half and you hook him through one side of the tail, thread it through, back out the other. And that way when you cast and he's lying on the ground, he's able to crawl and he just gives nice lively action still. A lot more appealing for a grunter than a dead prawn. So with the grunter, you don't have to cast out too far. They like to feed quite nice and shallow. So this flick. It's actually a bit further than necessary, but that should do the job. And yeah, let's see what happens. Go, go! Beautiful spotted grunter. You can hear the, the grunting. Yeah, you can hear that sound they make. It's an end called the grunter. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. What have we got here? We've got about, he's a good 60 centimeters. So he's definitely size. And yeah, usually we like to practice catch and release. We've actually caught six before this and only kept one. But I think we'll keep this one. Just for dinner, watch it. Okay. Got the scales off. Nice and clean on the inside. None of that stuff to worry about later. I don't worry about taking the kills out because I'm not going to cook anything up there with the head anyway. So, yeah, for me that's prepared for later. and skin this little grunter we got here. Uh, as you can see, it's not the same one we caught on the river. That was a nice 60 centimeter grunter. We decided to bring another one back home. And uh, yeah, this is a 45 centimeter grunter. It'll still be perfect for the two of us. So we're gonna fillet it, skin it, and then we're gonna show you how to do a nice beer batter, which will work with a lot of different kind of fish.
Right guys, I'm not very good at filleting and skinning fish, but I'm gonna actually try something I saw on an episode of Catch Cook and see if I can skin it. So let's have a look and see if I can do it. So the way the guy explained it on the video was you're supposed to just point your knife downwards and you pull the skin of the fish and you just work it like that. And what do you know? That works really well. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, time to make the beer batter for the grand tour. It's a very, very simple batter to make. So all we've got here is a bit of flour in the bowl and just mix a bit of beer in there. And this really isn't much of a science to it. You just want to kind of get a nice consistency with the beer batter, which I'll try and show you now. salt and pepper and then we've got some oil heating up over here. I'm just going to drop a little bit of the batter into the oil just to see if it's too hot. It's hot enough and that looks pretty good. So now we're going to roll these nice little pieces of granite in here. Cover it nicely with the batter. Just pop it in. And you can see how that comes out. Nice and golden brown and crispy. Maybe a little bit over enthusiastic with me with the batter, but yeah, it's a really nice batter. Okay, we've uh, just finished frying up our fish. Just gonna dish it up quickly and put it to the test. That's good.